Time to have some fun. Time to get into the gym. It's 1.20 Tuesday, April 12th. Just got to the gym. I've been literally sitting down at my computer or studying all morning long. Woke up at 7.15, had my coffee, and been answering emails, commenting back to you guys, studying for my certification, getting schoolwork done, just everything. So much work this morning, and when I sit down and like I just get in the zone, I could be there for hours. I had breakfast around 9.45, eggs and a piece of toast. It's a low-carb day, so keeping that breakfast kind of small. But what I like to do is have that breakfast, and then I do my work, get to the gym. I don't have my second meal really until maybe it'll be like, it'll be like after 3 when I have my second meal. So I can kind of go through the day. But had my pre-workout before. It's a Nick Bear-focused workout, and I'll get into that when we get inside. But just trying to get up and moving. I've been sitting around all day. I am so pumped for this workout. Going to go in there, have some fun. See what I can do and uh, meet you guys inside. So one of the reasons this is a Nick Bear inspired workout is because lately in a lot of his videos, especially his leg workouts, he's been emphasizing exhausting the muscle before you get into your compound movement. So doing something like an accessory work before you get into squats, for instance. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to start with leg extensions and curls. Four sets, 15 reps for each. This gets the blood flowing. One of the reasons he says that it's a good thing to do is pre exhaust the muscle is it warms him up, it gets the blood flowing, his joints feel better when he goes into the squat. So that's what I'm gonna try out today. Comment down below if you guys have done something similar. I'm definitely excited to give it a try. He talks about it a ton. So that was set one. I'm gonna go alternate back and forth between extensions and curls. The reason I'm giving this a try is, you know, I'm always up for something new and different workouts to try. And, you know, I've watched Nick's channel for as long as I can remember. And he's a great inspiration for being able to balance working out. You know, he's in South Korea. He's also balancing his company, the gym he's making over here. So all of his information will be down below. And he talks really highly about just balancing everything, getting things done. When you truly want them to get done, you'll find a way. So I think it's a lot about what I talk about. Again, his information, his channel, his Instagram, he's on Snapchat a lot. Check that out, but just, I'm still out of breath. But um, did four sets, leg curls, four sets of leg extensions, all 15 reps. Really good, I definitely feel warm. So now we're gonna get into squats. Warm-ups have been going really smooth, so I just did a few reps with uh, 65. Last time I did back squats was, I think it was 4 by 6 with 85. I'm going to put two more 10s on there, that'll put me at 85 again, but I really think I can get four sets of 10 with that, which will be an improvement from last time, which was about a week and a half ago. So let's see how it goes. That was one set of 10 with 85 and felt so good. Like, and no grinders, no nothing. I don't know if it's I'm making improvements, but also, like Nick says in his videos, I feel a lot more warmed up. You know, nothing feels tight or like it needs to, a few reps to get going. So, highly recommend pre exhausting your muscles. Just do a few accessory works and then get into your compound movement. It definitely, definitely helps. I'm gonna stick with 85 and keep, see how many, so that's a 10 I can get. I think I can get more than five, uh, four. Maybe we'll go for five or six. But I'll show you guys that. Set two, complete, good. I and mean, get in depth. I'm very happy with how everything is going. I know it's only 85 pounds, but 
You know, before I could only do four sets of six or eight, I forget. And now I'm just repping out ten. Feels pretty good, excited. Um, but also, so I told you guys information about the Nick Bear, but also his brother, Preston Bear. His information will also be down below. Just recently started his YouTube channel, and I mean, just like his brother, they preach the same things, they got the same goals, but it's nice to see it from, you know, his brother's view, so check him out, Pre uh, Preston Bear. He's also a senior in college, so he shows you how to balance everything, I think he does a really great job. So go check him out, give him some support. Also, the two of them are working on opening a gym, Bear Gym. That information will be down below. It's just so exciting to see people who truly love what they do and put effort towards it. But I'm out of breath. I'm gonna save my energy for the next sets and then just enjoy the video. So six sets of 10 at 85, which is such an improvement from my four by six or eight that I did a week and a half ago. Yeah, 85 is pretty light, but I'm just going for volume, out of breath. It was just good work, way to work on my form and my depth. And I really believe in exhausting your muscle before because like nothing hurt, nothing felt sore, there's no grinders or anything. So I think doing the accessory work before definitely helps to do that. And if you guys try it, let me know for sure. So out of breath. I might try to go for three sets of triples with a little bit heavier weight because I feel like I still have some left in the tank but not enough for like 10 reps. So we'll see. We gotta find out right now. So that's gonna do it for the squats. That's actually we got three sets of triples. You know that wasn't like a PR or anything by any means, uh, especially after doing six sets of ten. I think that was still pretty good. Legs are definitely feeling it now. We'll feel it tomorrow. But again, just to emphasize the point of this was doing something different, doing accessory work before my compound movement, and just to see how that feels and it works. So I'll probably continue to do that. I tried out for you guys again. That was from Nick Bear, so check him out and check out his brother Preston Bear. That's gonna do it for this workout footage. I'm gonna go do some more accessory work, and uh, that's about it. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this and got something out of it. Keep, please comment down below if you did like it, if you did enjoy it. I'm gonna keep keep going, and uh, don't forget to check out Wolfpack Gym Apparel for their great shirts, and they got more stuff to come. But I'll see you guys later on.
though this is like dairy free, no sugar added or anything, it's still so good when you have a craving for ice cream. So yeah, no sugar added, one gram of sugar per serving. So serving is 85 grams. I had 150 grams of this, but it's really good. So if you're looking for something that's not like Arctic Zero or something like that, recommend this for sure. So that was my second meal of the day. It's a low carb day, like I said. It's already 4.48 and that was my second meal. You know, it wasn't really too hungry. I don't get like hungry when I'm working out. So low carb day, nothing really exciting. So I'm gonna end the video here. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Got something out of that workout. You know, shout out to Nick Bear and Preston Bear as well. You guys are doing great things and definitely very motivating to watch. But I'm gonna get some work done now. Edit this video, shower. I've got two more meals left. So it's a low carb day, nothing exciting to see. But that's gonna do it. Uh, thank you guys again for all the support, liking the video, subscribing, and I just, it's, it's awesome to see. So like, comment, share, subscribe if you have not already. It really does help out a lot. And as always, have a great day.